Alrighty. So, uh, very sorry for this being in the horizontal format rather than, or in the vertical format rather than horizontal. That is uh, something I personally don't like, and I know a lot of people other other than me don't like it. But in order to look at the comments and analytics, I can't really have it in horizontal. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to work that way. Um, the app won't do it. But anyways, thank you very much for all the support on this video. Uh, this was something that I don't like to talk about much. Um, that's Originally, I made my channel just to make a difference. Um, it's always been my goal is to make someone laugh or smile or whatever. Um, but if I can't do that, I want people to know that they aren't alone and that they aren't struggling by themselves. Other people have similar problems that they can relate to. And, um, honestly, this video wasn't really made for that reason. It was made for me to vent. Um, so that w it was nice to see so much support from everyone to me <laughs> for this. And, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen this video, I don't recommend you watch it. It got very heated. I was very upset. I acted pretty immature. But my words will stay the same no matter what. I still believe the same thing back then as I do now. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, I'll give you guys a rundown of what happened if you didn't see the video. Um, Monica Real made a tweet, uh, you can just see right there, saying, Talk about incredible timing. Tomorrow is my birthday. Thank you for all the support. Uh, it's meant the world to us. You inspired us to keep fighting for what's right. Debatable. And to all the other survivors out there, this is, this win is yours. I hope we have helped you to find your voice. Now, I, of course, commented th to this saying, I personally don't find it as a victory, and I am also a sexual assault victim. For anyone who doesn't know, when I was two years old, I was sexually assaulted in foster care. And then I was put into a adoptive family, well, I was put into a foster family and adopted in that family um, at around three um, when I was 13, I was sexually assaulted. When I was 16, I was, it's basically borderline rape at that point. Um, when I was 16, but it, it's not something that I really dwell on. I've gotten got, I've kind of gotten over it. It's not something that I really have a problem with. Uh, I wasn't physically injured or anything, um, too badly. It was emotional scarring. That's, that's for sure. But I don't really talk about it much because it kind of kind of got over it. And also, um, why is his name changed in this? Did he update his channel? Oh, he might have. Um, please don't look at the first comment there. <laughs> You're going to have to in order to see what the first comment is. Uh, let me first point out, this one had a lot of views. I am thankful for everyone who gave it a thumbs up or a view. I never really care about analytics on my channel, but it's nice to see that people were watching this and seeing the truth that's out there. Um... Oh, and for anyone who doesn't know, I got blocked after commenting that. And I was telling her that I'm a sexual assault victim, and uh, I don't see it as a victory because you really didn't win anything, and neither did I. So it's really not a victory for anyone. Anyways, so when we're looking at some of the positive comments that people posted, and I'm very happy that people were so kind to do this. Um, if anyone sees their comment in here and doesn't want it up here, I will take down the video. Uh, but it is public. Like, everyone can see my comments. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not like it's really hidden. If you just go to the video, you can just see them. But if anyone doesn't want their comment in here, let me know. Um, I'll see what I can do there, but, uh, they're kind of already public, so I figured it wouldn't be a problem. Anyway, so this, this person who I actually watch his channel a lot, he's a good, uh, Twitter friend of mine, not Facebook, Twitter friend of mine. Uh, he used to be called Ancap Otaku, but, uh, I guess now he's called Kimimura, um, I think that's also his Twitter handle now, but either way, or his Twitter name, I guess. And I'm not going to read what it says, because I don't like saying that word. <laughs> it's one of the only swear words I don't say. Um, and I said, please, I don't like swearing in the comments, so please try not to. <laughs> but yeah, it's horrible. And then he responds with, I don't, I didn't, I didn't know what else to call her. So, yeah, this was kind of more of him being negative, and that's understandable. Like, not towards me, but overall, it was being supportive of me, because... I was attacked, you know what I mean, it's, he agrees with me, therefore, he's kind of being supportive, anyways, this one, however, uh, there are a few in here that are really, like, really nice, and I'll talk about those when I get to them, I don't remember which ones are which, uh, until I actually read them, 
but uh, finally someone who is, st who is standing up and saying what everyone knows. I hope she sees this video and knows just how much of a cowardly little, little C she is. Cowardly little C she and all her people in Kickvic are. I can't wait to see them all broke and homeless with the wa with the, with the world, forgetting who they used to be. Kudos. Uh, let me also point out that uh, I really don't like swearing in my comments. Like, I, I prefer if people don't. I'm not going to kick or ban anyone for, you know, swearing in comments. I just don't like to see swearing in comments. I try to keep it positive. Um, also, this is something I need to point out. Um, okay, I say it right here, actually. I won't disagree that they are acting out of, out, but many of the, sorry, I'm very tired if you guys can't tell. Um, I won't disagree that many of them are acting out, but many of them are just misguided. I was once a kick on kick Vic when this all began, and but what I quick, but I quickly believed in Vic after seeing the lies and doing research. I would say kick Vic extremists are the ones at fault, as many people of the, many of the people amongst kick Vic don't act out and are understanding that people see it differently. Kick Vic is, isn't all bad, but people who speak out and act out can be. Uh, true, sometimes your heroes aren't who you think they are when they begin to show their true colors and ideals uh, about someone or something. Some just don't want to see the truth and just blindly follow the people they look up to. Many are misguided indeed. It really sucks that this is happening to Vic and to the real victims who get demonized for speaking up. And I said, it's tough for so many people, but Vic is, is, uh, is taking it the hardest right now. Thanks for the support. Uh, there's always two sides of the same story. Here's to hoping there's some justice. And I said, I can re I can raise a glass of uh, grape juice to that, lol. Um, I also want to point out in the first comment uh, about them, about her seeing the video and understanding, she already looked at the video and just judged its title because when I had uploaded it at first, my phone autocorrected to Monica with a K. Um, cause that's what I normally will type out for, you know, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. So it auto went to Monica with a K, but when I, but then it, before she even got to comment on it, I had already changed it, but the link I had sent her, uh, through a, uh, I tagged her on Twitter, uh, it's still, apparently the, the link to it still had the K in it, so, whatever, um, she didn't even watch the video, because at that point I had one view and it was my friend's, so, uh, <laughs> I think that's funny, she literally saw the link to it, clicked on it, and before it could even load up or count as a view, she just like came back and commented saying, "Hey, if, if you first person to make, or if someone's gonna make a hate uh, hate video, I suggest that they at least have the the uh, take the effort to Google my name." And I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." And by the way, I used my uh, my other my extra account that I made right after that to send that link to her, so she didn't see the video. She's not going to obviously because she doesn't care. But either way, um. Is this one? I'm truly sorry for what happened uh, to you. Makes me sick how these people treat real victims. These kind of things are really important to me because a lot of people just kind of roll with it. Uh, they consider the. Actually, I'll talk about it when I'm done with all these, reading all these, because there are quite a few. I'm going to pick up my phone so I can guys hear the, the stuff. Ouch. Okay, I said thank you. I've come to terms with my past, but I am worried for the people who are unaware that they got. That they are being used by her. It's only going to be more traumatic once they realize. As long as it is a, wom a, a woman... I'm going to assume that's what they meant. A woman fighting against a man. People like Kick Vic will follow her every word. They hear her sob story and don't bother to look to see if she is lying. For a while I was on the fence about this whole thing. I wasn't 100% sure till I saw her defamation vid. Boy, oh boy, was I sure then. She was lying her ass off. Once again, I'm sorry. I hope real justice finds her soon. Then she can rot in the coldest bits of hell. And that's one of the things I don't like that I said, was that I hope she goes to hell. Because I hate saying that about anyone, but I don't disagree with it. That's how upset I was by this. And I still believe that's what I'd want. And I know it sounds scummy of me, but look, I, I don't care. <laughs> I can't change how I feel. That's about all I can say about that. Uh, and then he also commented, or they almost com uh, also commented, I don't know if it's he or she, so I'm going to say they. Sorry. I don't want to assume. <laughs> um, she never cared about real victims. She only cared cares for those who make up stories to make Vic look bad. And that is true because she even posted 
uh, in her evidence, evidence quotes, air quotes, in the evidence she posted stories that were even proven to be false by both sides. Um, they were also, some of them were from the horror stories page that was horror stories of Vic Mignogna, and it was like, it was even stated that they are not real stories and that it's just a place for people to come and tell stories about it that are mostly fake, people to make up stuff. And the people who made the page even said that. So I'd like for them to use that as evidence. Anyway, so as long as it makes Vic look bad, they're going to use it. Anyways, any real victims like you are trash to her. <laughs> yeah, that that feels like it very much. Hell, Jamie told a rape victim that her trauma was nothing compared to hers. Uh, these people are sick. And I like that comment. I didn't want to... Or sorry, I, I hearted that comment. I don't know what the term is. Uh... I, I did that to the comment, but I didn't comment back because I was very upset that I would uh, be a bit too hostile. And I'm probably going to comment back later today. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable commenting because I didn't know that Jamie told a rape victim that. And I, I didn't look into it, so I'm not going to make a comment about it unless I know that's a fact. I just don't like believing people's words no matter what. So I'm not going to comment on it saying that it's true if it's not. I don't know. Um, but I will look into that, of course. Uh, another person said she uses the for the for the victims to make an attempt to attempt at getting support from bleeding hearts. You shouldn't take this to heart, my dude. I love how they spelled my dude. <laughs> that is how they just. That's just how they are. Trash will be trash. It's a defense tactic too. Anyone who who questions victims is considered inconsiderate or rude. In other words, it allows them to deflect suspicion onto the other person who's looking for the truth. Monica always deflects, and she does. She really does. Um, I've seen her comment on people's spelling or grammar to get away free. It's frustrating. I'm glad I'm not the only one, only person in the world who sees this as a scummy tactic. And if, like I said, when I uploaded that video and tagged her in a link to it, um, yeah, her comment was literally uh, that I should Google how to spell her name. Didn't even comment on the video, she just deflected, and that's what she does all the time. She's also used that same tactic of commenting on someone's grammar or spelling several other times and when people are talking to her in comments. So yeah, uh, and she wants to heal the anime community? Get the F out of here. Monica, you are making it way, way, way damn worst. Uh, worse, I'm gonna assume that meant. Same goes for you, Jamie Markey. You both fucking suck. End of story. Um, it's not end of story because I commented back. I just realized that. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, please try to keep, please try to keep swear. Okay, I was about to say, please, I, I thought I was like, please try to keep swearing, period. But it's not, okay, please try to keep swearing somewhat low in the comments, but you aren't wrong. I'm glad not everyone falls apart, falls for, sorry, falls for their BS. I appreciate the support. And they said, we'll do and you're welcome. Um... No shit, she doesn't care about the real victims. Be Sorry, I was looking at the uh, the picture. It reminded me of a meme. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, no shit, she doesn't care about the real victims because she thinks she's more important than the, than a real victim. And I responded with, her actions would support your point very well. It's called an ego and they have the biggest I've seen. Also, I've met some pretty egotistical Karens at my past jobs and she's still worse. She's not entitled to anything. And then they said, don't worry, I've got your back. She's a disgrace. I think it's funny because I actually have dealt with a lot of Karens working in, like, I worked at a McDonald's, I worked at a Wendy's, I worked at a Burger King, I worked at a Good, well, I volunteered at a Goodwill, which is where I got one of my worst stories from, which was more of an entitled kid, and entitled kids are way worse than entitled parents or entitled Karens. I'm just saying that right now. Um, and I called him entitled kid, but this guy was more just like a rich kid who just thought he'd flex on me, but that's, that's not really for this video. Anyways, this is one, this is one, this is the absolute example of what a Pyrrhic victory is. When one's eyes are clouded by their own ego. I love how they keep using ego, because that is very true. I, I keep calling it an ego, because that's exactly what it is. By their own ego, bitterness, or jealousy, they can't be helped. Uh, Funimation and Jamie, Monica, and Ron, and all of their cohorts in this have been blinded and brought that same political divide into a world that never needed it, and all without a single shred of evidence. While I won't go into how bad this this has really gotten now, I want to say that I'm sorry, and not just on the actions of this lot, but for what happened to you in the past. Past two, sorry. For some idiot, 
idiocy is a condition that can't be fixed. But no matter what side you're on now, I think that you can now understand why we stay with Vic in the first place. And personally, I don't think that Vic would turn anyone away, so I offer you my hand in friendship. Uh, very, very true. And that was one of the, the, the messages that really got me the most, or the comments, I should say. Um, I really do appreciate this one, because I actually feel guilty about being kick Vic originally. Hence why now I'm so vocal about it. Vocal about it. I think I say that in here. Well said. That's why I stand with Vic 100%. He hasn't let fame become a power. And to be honest, I used to kick, I used to be kick Vic, but that was months ago. I'm fully I stand with Vic, and I really appreciate your kind words. However, as I've said to others, I'd like to request that you support other victims because they are the ones who are suffering the most. I've had to come to terms with my past, but many people simply can't. Please always show your support to them. But thank you for this. Uh, you needn't ask. I'll be happy to side with the real victims uh, like you and so many others. And you're welcome, friend. That was very nice of them, and I really do appreciate that. Um, she's blocked me, and I haven't followed anything. I just follow people, lol. I don't consider block. So this is something that I just I say because it really wasn't originally meant to be an insult. Uh, I don't consider blocking as an insult because it was originally a function made to limit what content you see. Uh, however, if the reason for you getting blocked is because they disagree with a single statement, yet they use people involved in that statement as tools, that's when it's crossing the line, in my opinion. So basically what I'm saying is since she's using me and doesn't want to hear the feedback from me, it's kind of unfair that she blocks me so I don't get to get my feedback out there, is what I'm basically saying. Um, but yeah, blocking is not really an insult. It was originally meant as just a tool for Twitter, It was something, or actually just any social media. It basically makes it so that people can't be, you know, toxic. And you don't have to see what they post if you don't want to see it. So honestly, I don't have a problem with people blocking me. It's just when they don't want to hear my feedback, but they use me or people who I'm involved with as a direct example to support their case, but won't take my own feedback. That's when it's a problem. She blocked everyone, my guy. I'm guessing she's blocking everyone who's followed, following Vic Mignogna. And I responded with, except she blocked me after that statement. I've commented on her stuff several times before this, so that's not exactly how it's happening, I guess. Um, and that's be what I meant by that is, like, I've commented on her stuff so much on that account until I made that comment on her thing. Like, I always keep it like, oh, well, um, congrats on the Panty and Stocking uh, thing that came out. I don't remember what it was. I haven't seen Panty and Stocking in forever. But there was something about Panty and Stocking that was announced, and I'm like, congrats on that. I also said, like, um, hope you have a wonderful day kind of thing. Like, I just just general statements. And I, like I said I, in this video, I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. I was trying to give her a bit of, like, mercy. I wasn't trying to hold everything against her. I never judge a person by their actions. I don't think that their actions should define who they are. However, their personality is 100% who they are. And, um, after this, and, like, well, she has no redeeming qualities to her now at all. In my opinion, she's not very attractive. In my opinion, she's not very entertaining. In my opinion, she doesn't really have a very nice personality. I don't see what else there is to her, <laughs> to a person. And, I, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think anything other than the personality matters. But a lot of people would say, oh, well, appearance matters. She ain't got that either. <laughs> Anyways, Monica Real doesn't have a problem. Monica Real is the problem, and I respond with, uh, she has a problem, and it's become the problem. <laughs> LOL. It's very true, though. She's causing a separation in the community and claims she's trying to fix what Vic did, and she caused the rift, so she's the cause of the problem. And that's the truth. If she hadn't spoken out, none of this would have happened. If people didn't say these things in public, whether or not they're true or not, it wouldn't have happened. Vic, there was nothing out there until they came out with it. Shut up. Anyways, sorry, I was looking at the, the thing at the top. Anyways, so in other words, she created the rift. Vic didn't, okay? Vic created a rift between you and him if the allegations are true. Vic in no way tore, tore apart the community. That was all you. It's like saying, oh, well, uh, they fired a shot, but we went and blew up one of their cities. Saying, like, a single sol soldier on one side of a war, uh, before the war begins, fired a single shot, and he was, like, a rogue, and then an entire army goes and burns down a city and kills all the children. Yeah, that's basically what you're saying, because you're tearing a rift between everyone else when, really, one person is, is to blame, and it's you, because you're the one taking the, the major actions. 
Plus, if you can't provide proof, you shouldn't be able to talk out in public like that when it's an illegal action you're talking about. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. It's the same stuff we've been talking about all this time. Um, and this is the last comment I wanted to talk about. She's not human, and I'm truly sorry that you went through something so horrible, and you'd have to witness the hag lying about sexually harassed to about being sexually harassed to try and destroy a man. Um, that was a very good one as well. I really do appreciate that comment a lot. Uh, thank you. I used to be Kickvic. Well, I I commented a lot on this one. I think this was one of the first comments I made. That's why. Thank you. I used to be on Kickvic. When this all began, I believe what people said, probably because I know what it's like. I hate making myself seem like a victim, even if I truly was one. After looking into everything, I saw lies, illegal methods, toxicity, and way more from Kickvic. I immediately did my research, especially after everything horrible I'd seen, and was disgusted by the people I had believed. I felt disgusted in myself as well. I always looked up to Vic, but the moment an accusation comes out that I relate to, I suddenly support that instead. In reality, Vic is the true victim in this, and Monica is the attacker. <clears throat> I honestly don't care if she offends me, but if she goes after those who are already suffering while claiming to fight for them, it's the scummiest thing I can think of. She's hiding behind people to get her through it all. It's disgusting. Thank you for being supportive, but uh, you you should but eh, but you should support the victims who are who aren't aware of this more. Uh, after all, they're the ones who are going to be emotionally struggling the most when they finally understand her true motives. Sorry for the speech, by the way. <laughs> and um, another thing I want to add to this that I was surprised I didn't talk about because it's one of my favorite quotes. In Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, there is one quote, and it's, you'd think that a lawyer would consider every crime despicable, but Phoenix Wright says there's two acts I, I consider the most despicable of any. Of all, whatever, I don't remember how it goes. Um, betrayal and poisoning. <laughs> because they're cowardly acts. You're not doing anything yourself. You're relying on others and then taking it from them. So, in other words, if you have a team and you rob a bank, let's say you rob a bank, and you have a group of people, you poison the person, you poison the people who are helping you and betray them in that way, or you just simply betray them and kill them or abandon them or whatever, and take everything that you all worked for for yourself. Or, if you do a, a stealthy tactic like poisoning someone to take what they have um, out of it, like anyone, let's, let's say it's a, uh, a rich celebrity or something, and you, have, and you want their necklace, or like you want all the, 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 uh, the, 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 the jewelry that they have on them, poisoning them would be the, the sneakiest way to get away with it. You're not doing anything, and you're not working for it, you're just taking it with one of the most despicable means ever. And I believe that this is betrayal. She uses the community, and then the moment that they disagree with her, she throws them out. They, she gets rid of them. So, in other words, even good old Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney has to uh, has something to say about Monica from beyond the second dimension. <laughs> um, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who was really supportive about this video. I really did appreciate it. Um, I legit cried during watching this because or reading some of these because it. It was tough. I don't like talking about myself negatively. I will use my experiences to help guide others, but I will never use it to make myself look like a victim. When I'm upset, yes, I do bring it out if it's relevant to what I'm talking about, but I don't use it to get attention or to get sympathy. I never really want sympathy, but it's nice to get it either way. It's like saying, well, I don't need it. I don't need cash, but you still feel happy when you get it, don't you? Like, you, no one wants to be, like... I guess a lot of people want to be rich. Uh, a lot of people don't... I should say a lot of people. A few people <laughs> don't feel like money is everything, but they still feel happy when they get paid. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. You don't need it, but it's nice when you get it. And I really did appreciate it. Um, one more thing is that I will be doing some special stuff um, for the victims of actual sexual assault. I'll be donating some, to some charities and other stuff, but overall, I can't really do much financially, I don't really have much to pay, I don't really have much of an income, since I can't get a job, I can't really do much, um, what I can do, is I can donate a certain amount of what I get, because I get special uh, aid from the state, I can donate a certain amount of that, and then I will also be doing some charity events, um, I want to say once I'm at 100 subscribers, because now you need 100 subscribers to stream on mobile, 
but I'll probably save up for a computer so I can just stream on my PC. Because YouTube made policy, a term where in order to actually stream on, on, your, uh, on mobile, on a phone, you have to have 100 or more subscribers or something like that. I don't remember what the number was, but it was way more than I had. So I haven't been able to stream on YouTube since, but I will be doing some charity live streams at some point. I know I won't get much because, of course, I'm a smaller channel and all, but I just feel like it's something I should do because it's something I really relate to and I've been through and I feel like is a major thing, especially nowadays. And after seeing all the people who did speak up um, about just being a sexual assault victim, whether or not they were claiming that they were a sexual assault victim from Vic or just in general, there was a lot of them out there. And I never realized how many people were actually assaulted in in the world. And it, it it's actually scary. I kid you not, it's scary on how many, pe how many people have gone through this. Um, I haven't looked up a number or anything, but I've seen people talking, uh, even people who just disagree with Monica, have been talking about how they are sexual assault victims. And uh, honestly, I can't prove anything for them. Like, I could just be making this up. I'm not, because I have three different therapists, one for regular, you know, uh, ADHD and other uh, developmental uh, disabilities. Or, what is it, not educational dis educational what's the term for it i have mental disability that's basically the best way to phrase it i have adhd ocd bipolar depression yada 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 well depression is more based off of the the assault but then i also have a therapist for the trauma of the assault and then i also have another therapist for when i was older and got assaulted because apparently you have two different therapists for when you're a child and when you're an adult and when you're an adult you can still have the older one because that's a thing <laughs> It's because your brain is too different. It, it works differently. The impact of it will will be greater when you're younger than when you're older. And it's really weird to explain. Like I said, it's for the same reason, just two different events. Apparently, when you're younger, you get a different type of therapist than when you're older. And I don't know how that works. I'm not going to go into detail because, once again, I don't like saying things that I don't have evidence to support. Because um, I don't really know what the difference is between them. All I know is that the brain works differently when you're younger and when you're older. And that trauma is two different types of trauma. That's literally all I know. <laughs> and I love studying basic psychology, but that is not something that I, I really looked into. Because it's not really something that I found interesting. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Um, thank you everyone for, th for the support. Like I said, I'll be doing some stuff in the channel at some point. I'm going to try and get a, uh, my PC up and running because... That's my first goal. Um, if I can get my old laptop up and running, then that'll be nice. But if not, I'm going to have to go buy a new one. It'll be more, a lot more expensive, but that's fine. Um, either way, I'm hoping to do some sort of stream for... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it and I'll let you guys know in the future, near future. Um, but yeah, I want to do something to give back to the people who are struggling right now. And I hope that you guys will continue to support the victims of all this and if you feel like it support me I mean like I said I don't really struggle as much as a lot of other people I've kind of come to terms with it as I keep saying I've kind of just grown out of it I've learned that yeah it happened it's not going to be something that I dwell on um and like I said there are no physical injuries I was perfectly fine I wasn't hurt or anything physically but there's some emotional scars there so yeah thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you all next time